what's up? Okay. First, first thing first. Let me uh, let me get everything uh, cleared up right now. Okay. One, this is the Watching Boys TV. We're gonna say some explicit shit. We're gonna say shit that is not too for children. So I just like that all the parents know. If you got your kids watching this, make sure you be there and be with them so they can watch it. Now, I prefer for you to not to let your kids watch some of the videos because some videos is very ungraphic and uh, and it's unsuitable for children. So, uh, and I appreciate that uh, you know that y'all don't do it and try not let your your kids excuse me try not let your kids try to get on and watch it <clears throat> because like I said some is very graphic some uh, some got really 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 strong language and uh you know we don't you know we don't want to go that way so you know the you know some of these videos that they can watch like you know as far as the funny video they can watch it but like I said some of them can, you know they can't watch you know and that's uh, you know and that's pretty much you know the subject on that Okay, this okay. The subject that I got is car from uh, Philadelphia. Some me email about bullies. Okay, I don't know if your daughter or son was you know was bullied in school because you know you didn't actually tell me the whole detail. Uh, so I pretty much kind of like put two or two together. So I pretty much figured it's uh, your son. I might be wrong, but okay. If you if you have problems like that in school. Uh, you know, like pertaining bullies, go to the principal. If the principal don't do nothing about it, then you got to go how? You know, you got to go over here. Go to the board of education. If the board of education don't do nothing about it, then the best thing you do is this. If the bullies just keep on escalating, and if it's keep on doing it, I hate to say it because I don't usually say this. I don't use, uh, you know, I don't usually, uh, Church it like this, but like I said, if neither one at work, help your son beat his ass. That's just plain and simple. You know, if you bully your son, you tell your son beat his ass because if the first or the teacher don't, you know, don't do nothing about it, then it's screwed up. You go to the boys of education. They don't do nothing about it. Help your son beat his ass. Or your daughter, have her to beat her ass. You know, cause see that's from this the fucking school shit now. All these fucking bullies and it's like the boys of education is not doing nothing about this situation. It's getting out of control right now. Cause I just seen on the news a, a couple days ago, a girl was walking up the hallway and she got bullied by some more girls. Okay, now you know what? That shit need to stop. That shit need to end right now. Because it's getting too out of control. Kids is getting killed over a fucking bully system place. You know. And it's, it's, it's something that the school should prevent it. But it's, it seems like more of the parents complain about it. They ain't doing nothing about it. You know. They talk about, well, we're going to suspend them. Or we're going to file charges. But they still doing it. You know. And another thing about a bully too, it's not all the bullies fault because where it looks, this kid who's doing a bully was also bully when he was young. See, so you know, it's you know, it's it's screwed up because it's a flip side on every coin. It's always a reason. You know, they're just like, okay, let me, okay, let me put this out to you. Just like a rapist. Okay, if a rapist go around and rape 20 women, nine times out of ten, he was raped when he was young. You know, I mean, yeah, it's, it's some, it's some screwed up. You know, but I'm just putting that in the category where that's what it seemed like it happened. You know, he probably got abused when he was young, or got bullied from school, or, you know, or people might be still bullying him. So he gonna take his anger on somebody else because he feel like that he can do it. 
And that's why I said it ain't really nothing I can even do but press charges. And that will kind of slow it down because the bullies need to go somewhere where they can wake up. They need to go somewhere where it will separate, separate the, the men from the boys. They need a reality check. And they not getting it. You know, all thing they're getting is suspension. And evidently the parents don't recognize the problem. You know, just like the boys of education though. You know, they think everything is a joke to them. But you know what? I'm like this. I'm going to be straight up to you. Straight up with you. Just say, for instance, I mean, you know, just, you know, I'm just speaking out of general. Just say, for instance, if one of those teachers walk through the hallway and then one of their bullies beat the brakes off of them, do you think they wake up? We don't know. You know, it pretty much half the population been bullied when they was young. You know, and that's why bullies carried out the anger because they were bullied. You know, but like I said, I'm not telling you, you know, what you know, what to make a kid do. But it's like this: press charges. If the charges don't work, well, hold up. First, go to the principal and the teachers. And and if that don't work, then you go to the board of education. And if that don't work, then you press charges. You know. Now, if it's a minor, you can't press charges on a minor. You can press charges on a parent. You know, so either way it goes, it's going to be some type of action take. But if it doesn't, I hate to say it, you have your son or your daughter to punch that fucking clock. Because if, if nobody doing nothing about it, and, and your kids is still getting bullied in school, and ain't nobody doing nothing about it, then what else can a parent do? What would a responsible parent would do about they about their children? People start with this bully shit. That shit getting fucking old. The bully shit is old. And these people better start doing something about it and start putting this fucking shit in check. Because evidently they're not doing nothing about it. It's, the shit is still fucking going on. And the boys of education not doing jack about it because they feel like, well, maybe he was a, a influence. Influence my ass. Ain't no damn influence. They just think they fucking bully. They think they can beat somebody up and get away with it. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. People ought to start sitting down and take five minutes of their time to talk to their kids. That's all you have to do. You know, y'all let shit go so far that it now it's out of control. It's like every school, almost every school in the state of Kentucky is getting fucking bullied. But who's stopping it? Nobody. What they getting suspension? What are they doing? You know, and and and, and it's ridiculous. And and the one who does the bullying, imagine what. They're, you know, imagine what they're going through because their kids is bullying somebody else. These parents right now is terrified because their sons or daughters is going out and bullying other people's kids. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? When these kids might get a gun and come to school and they shoot the shit out of them. See, they put parents on the edge. You know, go to boards of education, see what they're talking about. Maybe they can stop the bully. But if, but if y'all don't know nothing about it now, it's going to get bad. And then when it get bad, it's going to get worse. And then when it get worse, it's going to be a killing. And then when it be a killing, then you have a problem. Kill the problem before it starts. You know, and just like I said, it's not only the bully's fault. Like I said, maybe they got bullied. And they shooting out the anger towards somebody else because they got put, you know, and 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 like I said, it's, it's it, it just messed up, you know. The society's messed up. So the parents, the ones, the ones, the kids is getting bullied. 
parents, sit down and think about what you're going to do. Think about it, how you're going to fix the situation. And the parents that the kids is bullying, y'all better sit down too. Because, and think about what your kid is doing. Because it can come, it can actually reflect back on them. Like I said, kids are taught getting beat up in school. These kids is carrying guns now. They're carrying knives. You think they're going to fight you anymore? No, they're not. You know what I'm saying? So, both sides need to sit down and figure out what they're going to do with this situation. Try to kill this whole bullshit. Because they're going to get out of control. They're getting out of control right now. Just like that guy went in that damn school and shot up a whole lot of people. Because he's oppressed. And he said that the devil made him do it. Oh, he was... Uh, he was on drugs. For one, you fucking idiot. You wasn't on no fucking drugs. You mad because your ass didn't graduate, you dumb fuck. How the hell you gonna graduate, nigga, and you like 30-something years old? What school did you go to? School of a dumbass? And then you gonna run out and, and then you gonna shoot the damn school up and hurt these innocent people? And then you gonna turn around and then you gonna turn it on yourself? You got the dumbest stupid fuck that I ever seen in my life. So you're going to take innocent people and then you're going to turn around and, 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 and put a gun on yourself and then you're going to shoot yourself? You should have done that in the first place instead of taking innocent people. You know? And see, and that's what I'm talking about. He was fucked up. That guy was actually fucked up. You know? He must have been abused when he was young. And, and, and he actually, his reaction is, he's retaliating for something that actually happened in his past. And, and that's what I'm saying about the bullies. You know, maybe, maybe the bullies is not, is not realize what they're doing. They think it's, it's, it's fun. That's all a bully thing, see. They think it's fun. You know, they can take somebody's stuff for them walk through the hall and just like shove somebody in the locker or something or take their lunch you know what I'm saying or take their book bag you know I mean you know they just that's how it is you know because they don't got nowhere to go with this so evidently they was bullied you know maybe they got bullied by somebody else so they taking the aggression on somebody else it's always a reason for everything it's not only the bullies it's a reason for every fucking thing and, that's what, and that, that, that's what people ought to realize. Don't sit there and say, well, just look, he's a little idiot, and, you know, and why is he doing it? He need his ass kicked. No, that's not the solution. The solution is, these kids need help. No matter if it's physical, therapy, counseling, or whatever. Okay? The fucking school board should have fucking stopped that bullshit and get these kids on the right track. You know, y'all want to graduate these kids, okay. Have some fucking teachers there that actually to get these kids on the right track. Don't throw them in the fucking corner because they bullies. Fuck that. No, it's not right. Y'all teachers ain't doing that. You know, y'all sitting back behind a fucking desk drinking a cup of coffee and look stupid all fucking day and, and think you're learning these kids something. No, y'all not doing that. These kids come out, damn it, they go in smart, they come out dumb as a motherfucker. How the fuck is that possible? That's why people is that's why these kids now is fucking getting out of school and finding them a little part time job because y'all not teaching them nothing. What are y'all teaching them? Science? How to blow up shit? How to make meth? What the fuck? You know, I mean, let's get real. You know, now, let's get real with this shit. You know, and then y'all person talking about where we send you home because you was bad. Somebody fucking need to send you home, you punk ass. And then you got the fucking board of education. Y'all laying fucking school teachers off. How is these kids just getting education when y'all keep laying fucking teachers off? You know, oh we don't, oh, we don't have no, uh, you know, we don't have enough money. Or oh, our budget is low. Budget? You mean fucking budget? But you got these parents is paying for these fucking school books and shit. But y'all motherfuckers, and y'all talking about that y'all got no budget. Y'all quit building these fucking $3.5 million fucking bridges. Maybe these kids have a fucking education. 
y'all building all these fucking bridges and all these fucking casinos. What the hell are we gonna do with a fucking casino? If we wanna go to a fucking casino, goddammit, we go to fucking whatever fucking place here. We go to Vegas. But y'all gonna keep building all this old bullshit. Fuck that. These kids need education. These kids need training. That's what schools is for. You know, and y'all talking about that y'all don't have the money for books, or these kids got to wear certain type uniform, or these kids got to have certain type of shirts. Okay, the parents is out here working their fucking ass off to try to make sure that these kids have the right clothes, the right books. So when they do go to school, they got everything they need. Y'all don't appreciate that. Y'all want more. More. Well, uh, uh. Well, you need to bring some money for your lunch because, you know, we don't serve the bullshit. When I was going to school, I didn't have to bring no lunch money. We had a fucking lunch room. You know? But the parents give these kids lunch money so they can get a snack when they leave from school. But y'all not doing that. You know? So y'all sitting here and, and you know y'all sitting here and talking about all oh, this kids is bad or this kid is bad or this kid needs some help or this kid don't got no respect or this kid right here he just nuts. No, let's get something straight for the record too. Y'all saying this about these kids? Why these kids in school? Who makes them that way? Don't blame the fucking parents. The parents is not doing it. It's how y'all treat those damn kids. That's the bottom line. Y'all treat these kids like they in fucking prison. You know, one thing, you can't have fucking cell phones in the school. Okay, that's fine. You know, and then they got to wear certain stuff, certain clothes in school. Okay, that's fine. You know, y'all can't be hard on these kids, man. Y'all can't. You know, and the Boys of Education... <coughs> anybody knows better is y'all. Y'all cannot be hard on these kids. And that's why these kids do the shit they does in school. Bullying motherfuckers. Because y'all don't sit there and have no counsel with these damn kids. But see, y'all want to call your parents up. You know, they want to call their parents and say, well, your son just beat up somebody. Or your son just took his little girl's lunch money. But you're going to call the fucking parents instead of having a meeting with the parents and try to get help for these kids. But y'all won't keep throwing this shit on their damn parents all the damn time. Y'all don't need to be no teachers. Y'all need to be foreign people. Y'all need to be out there picking nuts out of the fucking field. Y'all need to be out there picking balls out of a field. Y'all need to be out there getting your fucking head cut off. Because y'all idiots. Got some damn idiots, and you call yourself school teachers? Come on, y'all. Now I seen some school teachers in in schools, man. Is is they some shit? But y'all got to start setting back, man, and quit sending these kids home. Get these kids some help. Give these kids a benefit of the doubt. Don't just throw these kids in the corner because they're bloody. Don't do that. It's not the parents on this. No, no, no. It's not the parents on this. It's the schools. You start putting counsel for these kids. Maybe these kids won't do that. You start respecting these kids. Everything be good. Some don't. Some don't. You know? So, I'm like, I don't know what else to tell you, but uh, I do got to say this. Some of y'all school teachers, y'all good. I do got to say. And, and, and I'm not saying all of them. Now, I don't want nobody take this out of proportion or take this content out. Some. Y'all get it. Some. Some. Damn it. Some of them. Not all. Some. Do y'all get it? Okay? Some school teachers. That sat there and don't give a damn about these kids. Some does. Some go out of way for these kids. Some of y'all don't. 
Y'all just gonna come around and get a paycheck and go home and eat you some motherfucking rice cakes and drink Kool Aid. Fuck it, idiots. <laughs> the fuck is it, man? I mean, get real with this shit, okay? <laughs> get fucking real with this shit. I didn't graduate from high school. I went to 10th grade. I don't give a damn. I got kicked out of that fucking school in the state of Kentucky. Thank God, Kerr. Fuck no. I got book sense, common sense, and I got street sense. That's three things I got. And that's three things that I'm going to keep. Y'all not taking my fucking dignity. But that's, that's what y'all taking from these kids. They dignity. Y'all need counseling. Y'all need schooling. Y'all need to go back to school and figure out how to teach kids. Instead of sitting in the damn office all day reading a fucking newspaper, reading a fucking funny, what the fuck are you reading? You're supposed to be teaching these kids. That's why half of us not graduating right now. But do y'all care? Y'all just get a paycheck. So, it's like, I don't know what else to tell you, my brother. And, you know, like I said, the bully situation, that shit got to stop. Our innocent people is, is actually getting hurt over this. Like I said, go to the Board of Education. First, go to the principal. They don't know nothing about it. Go to the Board of Education. They don't, they don't know nothing about it. Then what you do, you file a lawsuit. That's the main thing going right now. Because there's so much bully right now, it, it's all over the news. So my brother, I gave you, a, uh, I try to give you the best answer that I can. And... It ain't nothing else I can actually say. You know, just watch your kids, you know. And, you know, I hope everything work out all right. So, like I said, I'm out of here. Thank you for emailing me. And like I said at first, people, public, this is the Watson Boys TV. Whatever you see me on her, I dread talk some shit. Whenever you see my brother on her, he dread talk some shit. That's how we roll. That's how we do. That's what this show is. This show is a reality show. This show goes on what we get from emails. This show goes on that what we get from <coughs> different people. We talks about what we're on email. We talks about what we get from email. We not making shit up. We don't make shit up. This what we. This what we present to. This what we gonna present on film. And. Some people might take it offensive. Some people might take it on adultery. You know what? I'm like this. Read my lips and I want you to read it good. This is a reality show. We talks reality. And as point blank, we talk reality. We speak the truth on this. Like I said, we got email after fucking email that we got the, that we got requested. When we get an email, that's what we talk about. That's the topic that we talk about. I wouldn't care if a person see me an email say, "Can you talk about my dog? He only got three legs and a half a nut. Can you tell me how come his dog not functioning right?" I don't know, brother. That's what I'm saying. That's what we get. You know, that's what we got to get. That's what people send us in. You know, I mean, I got an email for a guy that's telling me about some damn roaches. <laughs> Come on, people. Now, that's now people. That's what I'm talking about. That's the stuff that we get. I got an email. We got one guy talking about some roaches. One guy talking about some coffee. Other guy talking about some gas prices. Other guy talking about some fucking underarm piss. Some guys talk, talking about all sorts of shit. I just made three videos last time about some fucking food. I mean, damn, get real. But we present the shit to the table because that's what the people want and that's what the Watson boys gonna do. No matter if it's petty, funny, comical, reality. Only thing we don't do, we don't do sexual contests, and we don't talk about having sex with nothing. <laughs> we don't do that. That's not our mentality. You know, you know, we were talking about relationships, 
uh, 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 domestic violence, rapists, child molesters, tree jumpers, cow suckers, cow fuckers, cow rapists, dog lickers. We would talk about it. That's, that's what we do. You know, we even we even got one guy ask me how come guys have sex with barnyard sodomies. What the fuck is a guy gonna have a sex with a cow for? Now that's the shit that we get. People want us to talk about that. You know, so I hope nobody take offensive, but that's what we got to go on. I mean, that, that is the point blank. Ain't none of this shit. It stays red. Ain't no cue cards. Ain't nothing like it. And then uh, another thing we got an issue with is this 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 one girl emailed my brother and said uh the video that my brother made was Death Resurrection said that uh how how do y'all make it? Was it a trick photography, was it a trick camera, or was it a trick flash, or was it a cue card? Uh I don't know what is her name. Is her name Nicole or something like that? Nicole. Okay. Baby, I'ma you know what? I'ma say baby to you. Okay. Baby, no, everything that you see on that video was none of that trick, wasn't none of that a trick photography, trick flash, it wasn't none of that. Everything was just made. You know, and uh, I'm sorry if your boyfriend or your husband Disapprove about that, Hector. Hector, kiss my ass, okay? You punk bitch. You don't like it? Good. Don't watch the Watching Boys TV. And uh, Nicole, you know what? If you want to keep watching my show, I'm the star of the show. My brother's the co-star. If you want to keep watching the show, you keep watching it, sweetheart. And Hector, if you don't like it, good. Who gives a shit what you like? I'm offense with my brother left off. Good. If you don't like the show, don't watch it. If your wife or girlfriend like the show, baby, you keep watching. Yeah, I'm gonna call her, baby. I'm gonna call you, baby, too, Hector, because you must be a fan. <laughs> because you getting in your woman's face because she's watching my show and she give approval on it. Ask my brother a question, then you're gonna get mad because she asked my brother for opinion on his fucking video you fucking prick what is wrong with you are you gay and then are you gay you must be gay you fucking punk I don't know what's wrong what is wrong with some of you motherfucker you know and that's the email that we get you know and then we got this other idiot <laughs> on her like a beat up his wife you know what? A motherfucker like you, some motherfucker need to take a screwdriver and shove it straight to your fucking head. <laughs> because you need a reality check. You know, I don't hit women. I disapprove of hit women. I got too many motherfucking sisters. I don't hit women. You know, I don't like to see a woman cry. And then I, and then I get emails like, Junie Watson, why are you dishing women? Okay, now, let me put that in the big issue box. I don't disrespect women. Like I said before, that's the email that we get. Oh, believe me, we, I, I do not disrespect women because I was raised better than that. And it just, it's just how it is, you know. And then another issue that we got from my brother, interracial. Okay, my brother, my brother got his preference. Okay, me, I don't care. Coochie is coochie. I don't give a fuck if it's white, black, pink, mold, got cowbells on a bet coming out of that motherfucker. <laughs> it's still cuckoo. I have no preference. You know, me and my brother got two different things. He like his, and I like all of mine. You know, I wouldn't care if I had five black women, five white women, five Chinese women, and two Mexicans. Who do you think I'm going to choose? None of them. They all get ripped. If I got to take <laughs> fucking Viagra, drink eight Cokes, take a whole bottle of fucking vitamins, you can bet your ass every fucking last one of them is getting pregnant. 
<laughs> Point blank. I have fun. no preference. Cootie is cootie. They're just plain and simple. White or black. I had plenty of black girls. I had plenty of white girls. I had fucking two Chinese girls. Like I said, a woman is a woman. So that's how I work. You know, so like I said, if a black girl want to come to me and talk about, uh, 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 do you date black girls? Yeah, I date you. If a white girl say, well, do you date white girls? Yeah, I date you. Do you have a preference? I got a preference for you. Quit asking me all these goddamn questions. <laughs> no, I, I don't have a preference. But like I said, me and, my, me and my brother got two different opinions. He like his, and I like them all. An ass is a piece of ass. If a woman got a fat ass, and I'm looking at it, I'm going to try to get it. It, it. it doesn't make no difference. So, you know, that's that's how I, I do it on her. I, you know, I date whoever. White, black, mixed, Puerto Rican. I wouldn't give a damn cheap from Czechoslovakia. I wouldn't care if she was from Tokyo and ride a fucking horse butthole naked with a bow on the horse's nuts. I'm going to date her. As simple as that. So everybody, I'm out of here. I, I got to get this other email off. I love you. Peace and happiness. And I'm closing this motherfucker out because I'm getting a hat. <laughs>